order is breaking down in Gaza. It's been warned about and now it's happening. These people are desperate for everything and anything. They clamber onto one of the few aid trucks allowed to cross the border from Egypt. They start pulling out boxes, throwing them to family members or jumping off with their prize held tight. More run towards the commotion, eager to get their hands on this precious cargo. When they can, aid agencies do attempt an orderly handout of food parcels. But the reality is that what is coming into Gaza is inadequate and barely scratches the surface. With the chaos, with this active fighting, it's not possible to do the work that is needed to meet uh, these massive needs. And so uh, we need supplies at a completely different scale. To the west on the Mediterranean coast, the people who have evacuated to Al Muwazi don't have the opportunity to even attempt to get their hands on aid. There is none. This is a barren wasteland at the best of times, now it's the worst. They've built their camps themselves. There are hundreds of families here now, living cheek by jowl, just surviving. These people are desperate and angry. What happened was disgraceful. We expected more pressure, but the US will remain supportive of Israel against us. We're poor, unarmed people who live in tents as refugees. We were made refugees in 1967 and now again in 2023, when the world is supposed to be more advanced. There is outrage across the Arab world, and in many other countries too, that the United States vetoed a Security Council resolution calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. Here in the West Bank, the Palestinian leadership accused the US of being complicit in what is described as Israel's war crimes. In the centre of Ramallah, life looks pretty normal despite what's going on in Gaza, but beneath the veneer, it isn't. Well, in the West Bank, there is considerable anger and resentment about what's going on in Gaza, but there's also a sense that there's not much they can do about it. The Israeli security presence here is overwhelming. The IDF carry out regular raids across the whole of the West Bank. And indeed, since October the 7th, over 250 people have been killed here and more than 3,000 injured. But these numbers are dwarfed by what is happening here in Gaza. More airstrikes in Rafah, another so-called safe area. All they can do is appeal for peace, peace that has been vetoed. You have to stop the killing of the innocents. You have to stand with the right. I am called the international criminal courts. I am called the international laws. Where is it? Where is the human rights? I don't see anything. The city of Khan Yunis is now by far the most dangerous place in Gaza. Thousands are still living in what is an actual battlefield. Another huge airstrike here. They swarm over the rubble looking for survivors but more often than not, they find the dead, carried away for yet another funeral and another family left to grieve.